Welcome to another Forge Hub tutorial. This is Psychoduck, and today I'm going to show you how to create a simple dynamic platform using a couple of basic scripting elements in Halo 5's Forge. So here you can see our platform, and if I shoot the fusion coil, it will retract into the wall. It's a bit like the platform that Camo is placed on on the rig. So to make this possible, I'm using a combination of power sets and move commands as well as a timer so i have a few objects here which i'm applying scripting to first is my platform itself which i'm using a unsc metal palette for i have my fusion coil which is what i'm actually using to activate the function of this palette and i also have a light which is tied to the palette so this light will illuminate the platform when it is extended from the wall and the light will despawn when the platform retracts. And then for this example I also have an overshield placed on it. This is just a regular overshield but it's kind of cool because it falls off when the platform retracts. It lands down here just like the camo on the rig and again you can design this into your map however you want. Uh, I set it up similarly to the rig but you, you can do whatever you want with it and I think there are some interesting uh, applications for this within map designs. So if we start with our palette, we can see if we go down to the object properties and if we go down to our scripts, we can see that on power state alpha, when power state alpha is on, we're going to perform a move offset of six units on the forward direction, which is in this case going to shoot the platform into the wall. And on power state alpha off, we're going to perform a position reset over one second. Now our time for the actual action is pretty short. We have 0.3 seconds on here. It needs to be fast in order for the power up to actually fall off. And also, uh, you know, for it to actually matter if a player is standing on it when it retracts. So I used 0.3 seconds. Now if we look at our fusion coil, this is what we're using to manipulate those power states. So this says on destroy despawn, power set alpha will turn on, and on spawn, power set alpha will turn off. Now, if you recall our scripting on our palette, when power set alpha is off, the palette is extended, and when it is on, it retracts. And then we have a 30 second respawn on here. So what that means is that at the start of the match, power set alpha is off, the palette is extended. If I shoot this for 30 seconds, the power set alpha will turn on and the platform will retract. And then when the fusion coil respawns 30 seconds later, it will turn power set alpha off again and the platform will uh, extend yet again. Now we also have our light tied to this. And this is just working off of the same power sets again. So when power set alpha is turned on, which is when we destroy the fusion coil, the light will despawn. And when power set alpha returns to the off state, we will spawn the light again. So it's all pretty simple. Again, if I shoot the fusion coil, the platform retracts into the wall, the light despawns, and then 30 seconds later, the fusion coil will respawn, the platform will extend again, and the light will respawn as well. So it's a simple trick using some simple scripting, but uh, I think the applications are pretty broad for this. So hopefully you guys find this helpful, and I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.